Permission to treat the witness as hostile. Granted. Hostile? I see you hostile! Not even close to happening in real life. Welcome back to Under Oath. Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the oh. code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick oh, to do. Bad. Object! And when you went bad, you cut country. these guys loose! Your Honor! You had markers inside a phony transport! Your Honor! You doctored the logbook! Damn it, Captain! You coerced the doctor! Consider Not yourself in contempt! You. Colonel Jessup! Did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer oh, the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? Oh, go to the jail. I have a greater That's what responsibility he did. For no reason. than you can possibly Wasn't fathom. even in the script. You weep Wine. for Santiago Wine. and you Wine. curse Wine. the Wine. Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know, that Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the blanket of the very freedom that I provide and then questions the manner in which I provide it. I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. Otherwise, I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did. Powerful movie scene oh. could Makes never, me. ever Makes actually so happen in real life. Uh, hold on. The minute Tom Cruise got in past that one objection and just kept talking over the objections, talking over the judge at some point, no way. He would have been cut off. He, that guy had had that guy actually existed in real life, would have been on his way to jail, about two or three sentences into that whole tie ride. You would have never heard the witness respond. Okay, two things in real life. Two things. Good scene for a movie. Though. I have come very close to, and you have seen this happen, where I have, you you know, there are a couple of times I went. You were nowhere I near. Went too far. But I, you I were did, nowhere I near as way, far as Tom. I remember this much. judge go, Mr. Coffin, you know how close you are to going to jail. And I said, you know what you do for my month? That was a D, that was a fun criminal trial. Now, hold on. There's something else happens. The talking objections. When people say when they object and they keep talking, that does happen. But when the judge says three or four times, you know, stop it, and you don't, you know, yeah, you're going to be shut up. There's no way that. Now, now here's the thing. Imagine- now, this is a military court, okay? People forget one thing. The military court is almost impossible to win as a defendant because they load, the jury isn't a regular jury. The jury normally are officers. They load this thing up with military officers who they will follow, they will toe the line. So they, the odds of being found guilty in a military court are like 10 times higher than a regular court. Now, remember this, the judge in the case, he's also very pro-officer. They're, you know, they'll, it's not there's an unfairness about this now one thing that does happen we will let the person on the stand yap we'll let them start telling a story because the more they talk you know you just let them go and they'll slowly hang themselves you ask them basic question and then they went off and i didn't stop them now if i was the prosecutor in this case I would have stopped him. I said, please, only the relevant information. Well, this is such a fantasy. Nothing like this would have even come close to happening. But it was to- total movie fun. You love that one. Noth- I love it. Love that I love this. How many scene. times have you said? But it's fantasy. How many times have you told me I you also want like, me on this wall? I also like watching movies where people ride dragons, okay? But that, that doesn't mean it's anywhere well, close to reality. Room. I've never seen any wizards in a courtroom, but yeah, okay. With Carmine Falcone in Arkham, someone must have stepped up to run the so called family. Ooh, this is where he gets acid thrown in his Is that face. man in this courtroom today? You know who that is, right? Could you identify Harvey him Dent. for us, please? Two-Face. You win, counselor. It was me. <laughs> I have a sworn statement from you 
that this man, Salvatore Moroni, is the new head of the Falcone crime family. Moroni? He's a fall guy. I'm the brains of the organization. <laughs> Order. Permission to treat the witness as hostile. Granted. Hostile? I see you hostile! <laughs> Carbon fiber, 28 caliber, made in China. If you want to kill a public servant, Mr. Moroni, I recommend you buy American. Get him out of here. But, Your Honor, I'm not done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, really cool for a movie, not even close to happening in real life. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, Can you imagine any prosecutor we've ever met having the cool headed, level headedness to grab a gun out of some guy's hand on the witness stand? I've never known a cool prosecutor. <laughs> Me either. I've never seen one of them. They're all like, nah, 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 nah. The prosecutors I know would have crapped their pants right there. Nah, 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 Wouldn't nah, have nah. even reached for the gun. Nah, they would have nah, 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 covered nah. up their face. I'm right, Your Honor. I never lose my cases because I only go forward on the ones that I know I can win. No. Well, that's every prosecutor. Yeah. So, no. Dump them. Well, you're right. Let's get rid of number four, I'm gonna six. And I'd say lose number 12, except the prosecutors. Better hope you're not pulled over. Number six. You're kidding, right? She's my first choice. She's my first pass. And four? With the dreadlocks. That's crazy. That's a defendant's cure if I ever saw one. Did you see his shoes? Uh, look, kid. Maybe down in Florida, you are the next big thing. This is New York, Manhattan. We're not squeezing oranges here. He polishes those shoes every night. He makes his own clothes. He may look like a brother with an attitude to you, but I see a man with a shotgun under his bed. And woe betide the creature who steps into his garden. And number six, your favorite, she's damaged goods. She's a Catholic school teacher. Hmm? Believes in human frailty? No. There's something missing from her. She's wrong. She wants on this jury. Somebody heard her and she wants revenge. How the hell do you know that? I don't know. You know what? Jury selection process when co-counsel have a dispute as to which of the panel, remember you explained it to them so they understand now, which of the panel members are going to make the actual final cut to become the real jury. It's hard looking at somebody and trying to figure out what their politics are who they are when you see them. What's unfair is Keanu Reeves was able to look at her shoes, go through, all, pay attention to everything about this person because you don't have that time. You would like to believe that your your trial lawyer has that kind of uh, savvy that they can pick up on those minutia details, but that in real life, that just doesn't happen. You have to ask questions. You have to see what, not only how they answer your questions, but their demeanor while they're answering the questions. And that, that it's a character judgment. And you gotta make a split second decision because you gotta go through 40, sometimes 50, 60 of these folks before you get down to your final jury of six or depends on what state you are, some of them have 12. But th there's, there's a selection process. You've got to weed out some of the jurors. And you know, a, a lot of times you gotta just use your gut. I think it takes conservative at least four people to be able to look at everything that needs to be looked at perfectly to do what that person did. One person's just paying attention to clothes. One person's just paying attention to the reactions. One person's asking the questions. One person is going through all the data that you've been given. Uh, it's an unbelievable amount of data you're trying to decipher in seconds. And it's, I would say it's downright impossible to pick the perfect jury based on the time frames that we normally have. Yes, he did, yes, but he, yes, he oh. forced you. And he Norton. forced you using a he threat of explosion. Oh, he was a rock star. House, and a life on the street with no heat and no water and no food. He put you in front of a camera. He made you take off your clothes and you don't think that that's another side? 
Another face of a man that we all thought no, we knew. No. Do you know what I would do if someone did that to me? I would kill him. I wouldn't hesitate. No. I would stab him 78 times with a butcher knife. I would chop off his fingers. I would slash his throat open. I would carve numbers into his chest. I would gouge out his eyes. I swear to God. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> no. Testifying. <laughs> really? They just sat there and listened yeah. to her go, I would do this and I even, would do this and I would do this. Even if the other attorney didn't object, the judge would knock that down. After 10 seconds of that. Five words. I would do this. Yeah. You wouldn't oh, stab him. I would so stab Hold on, him. counsel approach. You will not continue that line of diatribe in front of this jury. And if you do, I'll declare a mistrial. That would have never happened. Again, great scene for a movie. How compelling is that scene? Unless you're a lawyer. Not you can't stand at it. all you realistic. You can't stand that scene because it's there. there's an entertainment factor. And then there's going, please stop it. 